So if you know anything about me, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with the movie Congo. 1995, Congo the movie. Now, the hero of the movie, Karen Ross, played by Laura Linney, her whole thing is that she works for Travacom, right? And she is sent to the Congo to, because Bruce Campbell, her fiance Charles, he was in the Congo and he was looking for diamonds, right? His dad owns Travacom. He gets killed by the monkeys, the, the gray gorillas, right? So Karen Ross loves him, wants to go save him. And Travis from Travacom just wants the diamonds. And find out what happened to Charles. Tell me you love your son. I do. And that's why you're sending me. It is. All right. But if I have one moment, one moment when I think otherwise, I will make you sorry. That's a promise. So she threatens him, you know, I'll make you sorry. But here's the thing is that, like, he's made out in the movie to seem like this, like, ultimate bad guy. Like an evil, like, mustache twirling, like, yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna get all the money and get all the diamonds, yes! But the man says this. I've got 40,000 people working for me. They all depend on me. I mean, the guy's got responsibilities. It's not just that he wants to get another pool. I mean, I'm sure that has something to do with it. But he's speaking truth. The guy's got 40,000 people working for him, right? Then he has to keep them employed. So let's skip forward, okay? This isn't a review of the movie. Let's skip forward. Karen Ross goes at the end of the movie. She uh, finds the diamond. She finds Bruce Campbell's dead body. And she goes and she tells uh, Houston Travis Travacom. She tells them that. So now she's beat the monkeys. She's got the diamond. She found Charles. He's dead. Sad face. She calls Travacom. Right? And all he asks is, did you get the diamond? I have bad news. Charles. He's, he was killed. Did you get the diamond? Did you? So now, it's payback time because she told him, do you remember what I said? I will make you sorry. She's gonna make him sorry, right? Totally unselfish act on her part. She's gonna do this for Bruce Campbell. This is for you, Charlie. Do you remember what I told you? If I ever knew you sent me here for some diamond and not for Charlie, that I would make you sorry. Karen, of course I'm upset. You need a new cash machine. What would happen to the satellite if I put its phone number in this laser Karen. and pull the trigger? The chip from the transmitter's got the satellite's number, doesn't it? That laser takes a 12,000 channel chip. If you put all that power through that diamond, turn! This is for you, Charlie. Man, she did it. That was a super fucking heroic moment. She blew up the satellite. She took down Travacom. Now what's he gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what he's not gonna do. He's not gonna be able to pay or feed the 40,000 employees that he has. That's right. No one ever talks about this whenever... I see people talking about this movie because it's always like played up as a moment of like, yeah, yeah, she did it. She got him, that fucking rich bastard. She got him. But she just destroyed the lives of 40,000 people that work for this guy. So, heroic? I don't know. What do you think? What do you, what do you guys think? Do you think that it was a heroic moment or... Or do you think that it was a move of total selfishness and she didn't think about the repercussions of her uh, rash act? Am I wrong? It, was she a hero? I don't know. What if your dad worked for Travacom and now, you know, um, you know, your dad Henry, he worked for Travacom. Karen Ross got all pissed off now. You know, your dad doesn't have a job at Travacom anymore. What about Rudy? You know, remember Rudy at the beginning? Rudy, 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 Rudy. That guy doesn't have a job now. Yep, 
no job for him. His family, his wife, you know, his, his kids got to go to public school now. Huh? They're going to have to be a one car family. They're going to they're, they're going to have no summer vacation. They're going to have no they're not going to go to Disney World. That's fucked up, Karen Ross. Maybe you're not the hero that we need. But maybe you're the hero we deserve. Well, that's it for Congo Theory. Maybe I'll have another Congo Theory. I really am obsessed with this movie, so I'm going to try to think of other things that I can make videos about. Maybe I'll turn this whole goddamn channel into a Congo, Congo Theory channel. I don't know. I don't know how much Congo Theory stuff you could come up with. But All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe and all of that. And go watch Congo because it's literally the greatest movie ever made. Hands down, 10 out of 10 critics agree, Congo, number one.